Today I'm going to show you how to make a tie back scrub cap that's good for men or women and there's even a baby size. You're going to need the pattern pieces, the links in the description box, a third of yard of cotton fabric, a safety pin and basic sewing supplies. So here I'm going to show you how to make the ties if you're not using ribbon or bias tape. You're going to get your strip of fabric, iron it flat, and then fold each short end of the fabric in about a quarter to a half inch and iron that flat. Once you have both short ends, iron flat inwards as shown right here you're going to fold the long end in half hot dog style then you're going to iron it to make a crease you're going to do this all the way down Next, you're gonna open up that fabric to show the crease, and you're gonna get one side of the fabric, fold it inwards to meet that crease, and then iron that flat. You're gonna do this for both sides, all the way down. So I'm ironing one side now. And next, I'm gonna fold the other side of the fabric into that middle crease, and then I'm going to iron that side down. Once you've done that, you're going to fold these pieces together and then you're going to iron that together. This is going to make the ties. If you don't want to make the ties like this, you can use a half inch of binding bias tape um, or you can use half inch ribbon. Next, you're going to sew all the way up and down the open edges so that it closes them all the way through. And then we're gonna put that to the side. Now we're gonna get our crown piece. Iron it flat, get any wrinkles out. I like to use some steam to go ahead and shrink it. And then with it right side down, you're gonna fold it up about a quarter inch and iron it flat. All the way down the bottom, straight lined piece, not the curved piece. Then you're going to fold it up one more time about the same amount and you're going to iron that flat. Next, you're just going to sew a straight line to hold that crease there. This is what it should look like. Next, you're going to fold it in half along the curved edge. Make a little teeny tiny snip at the top at the middle. This is how you're going to know that it's the middle part, and we'll get to that in a minute. Next, you're gonna take your hat piece and fold it together. Doesn't matter if it's right sides or not, you're just making that little clip in the middle to show where the middle piece is. Now, with the right side up, lay it on a flat surface and meet the top part and your crown part cuts. That's going to mark your middle. Then you're going to pin it or clip it in place. Now go all the way around these two pieces and pin or clip them in place. Now that they've been pinned or clipped in place, you're going to sew all the way around your cap to connect those two pieces and it'll look like this when you're done. I'd like to go over it with a zigzag stitch after or you can just serge the edges. Now you're going to open up it 
and then you're going to get your back piece right side down and place it on top of the back of your cap that's right side up. It will overlap on the edges a little bit and that's what you want because this is going to be the casing for your back ties. So clip it in the middle and then you're going to go to your sides and fold them inwards just so that they line up with the cap piece. And then you're going to clip it right there at the top. You're going to do the same thing on both sides. Now along the bottom edge, make a straight sewing line. Now you're going to open it up and flatten it out and get your iron. And flatten it a little bit. Turn it around to the other side. Bring your corners in a little bit if you need to. And then roll the bottom up about a quarter of an inch and iron it flat. Next, you're going to roll it up again, and this is going to create the casing for your back ties. So you want to make sure that it's more than a half inch. Right there at the crease is where it should be folded. See there? And just keep folding it. You can play with it a little bit to get it how you want it. Doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be hidden inside the cap anyways. Now you're going to sew along the top to make this casing. And this is what it's going to look like. Now you're gonna flip your cap right side out. Get it adjusted by moving your fingers along the seams if you need to. And then get your tie that you made earlier and clip a safety pin to the end of it. And you want to make sure your stitches are along the bottom. And then you're going to put that safety pin through the casing you just made and push it all the way to the other end. If you're using bias tape or you're using ribbon, you're going to do this the same way. So you're going to pull it out and match both ends together until you have the ties about the same length outside of the cap. When you have them about the same length, you're going to fold the back in half to find the middle point. You don't need to make a mark or anything unless you want to. And then you're just going to sew it right up to the seam. And that's going to hold your ties in place without them pulling out. Now you're finished. Once the, scrub cap's put, once the scrub cap is put on, you're just going to adjust the back of it. Pull it together and it will tie in place for short hair, long hair. It'll hold buns. It's great for men or women. My husband and I are both nurses and we love to use this, this style specifically. And don't forget the pattern pieces for babies, kids, and adults are in the link in the description box. The best part about this is it's so adjustable so it fits all sizes. And you're done.